Wake up to a world where the boundaries of what's possible in technology are being redrawn. Not gradually, but suddenly. Phones that are not only faster, but last significantly longer. Artificial intelligence that runs cooler, cheaper, and more sustainably. Data centers consuming a fraction of the energy they used to. And at the heart of this shift is a company many believed was finished. Huawei, once heavily sanctioned and isolated from the global tech ecosystem, is no longer just surviving. It's disrupting. A breakthrough that experts believed might take China another decade to achieve has happened in just a few years. And it all centers on two interlinked accomplishments. A fundamental shift in computing architecture and the ability to produce advanced semiconductors under severe technological restrictions. To appreciate how monumental this moment is, it's important to remember where Huawei stood just five years ago. In 2020, the United States, citing national security concerns, imposed aggressive sanctions on Huawei. These weren't just symbolic. They were strategic and surgical. Huawei lost access to the most critical parts of its technology stack, especially the advanced chips that powered its smartphones, networking gear, and AI systems. The company's long-standing reliance on Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company, TSMC, became a liability overnight. TSMC was barred from shipping Huawei chips and even U.S. software tools necessary for chip design, like EDA, electronic design automation, tools from Synopsys and Cadence, were off-limits. The goal was clear. To halt Huawei's momentum in 5G, smartphones, and AI before it became too great a threat to the West's technological lead. The impact was immediate. Huawei's smartphone sales plummeted. Its flagship devices disappeared from many global markets. Its AI chip ambitions appeared dead on arrival. In public statements, company executives referred to this period as survival mode. But instead of retreating, Huawei adapted. It focused inward. Engineers, designers, and researchers huddled together with a singular goal. Technological self-reliance. In partnership with China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, Huawei embarked on a massive investment campaign in R&D. Billions of dollars were redirected to solving problems that, until recently, only a handful of companies in the world had mastered. And now, Huawei's bet is paying off. Let's start with the most radical innovation of all, ternary logic. While the entire modern computing world has been built on binary logic, the language of ones and zeros, Huawei is exploring a third path, literally. Binary logic has worked well for decades. It's the foundation of everything digital, but it's reaching its physical and theoretical limits, especially as we try to shrink transistors below five nanometers. Power leakage, heat generation, and diminishing performance returns are creating bottlenecks in everything from smartphones to super. Ternary logic, by contrast, uses three discrete states, one, zero, and one. This might sound like a subtle variation, but it's potentially transformative. Ternary logic can allow for more compact arithmetic operations, simpler circuit designs, and reduced energy consumption. The fewer transistors needed, the smaller and cooler the chip can be. The result? Potentially higher computational throughput with lower power requirements, an ideal match for AI workloads and data-heavy tasks. Huawei has already filed patents detailing how ternary logic can be implemented in advanced chips. These aren't theoretical musings. They are blueprints for the next generation of computing hardware. While commercial-scale ternary chips are still in development, their implications are staggering. AI models could run more efficiently, battery life on mobile devices could be extended dramatically, and chip costs could decrease by simplifying hardware complexity. But creating a new logic system is only part of the battle. The other side of Huawei's breakthrough lies in its ability to manufacture these advanced chips without access to Western technologies. Traditionally, to build chips at the 7 nanomillimeter level or below, manufacturers use extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV, a highly advanced and tightly controlled technology dominated by Dutch company ASML. EUV machines are marvels of precision and cost hundreds of millions of dollars each. Due to export controls, China, and by extension Huawei, cannot purchase them. So how is Huawei making 7 nanometers and possibly 5 nanometer chips? The answer lies in improvisation and ingenuity. Huawei and SMIC have turned to deep ultraviolet lithography, DUV, a less advanced but still viable alternative. Using techniques like multiple patterning, 
where chip designs are essentially layered in multiple passes to mimic the effects of EUV, Huawei has managed to produce chips like the Kirin 9000s, found in the Mate 60 Pro. There are even reports that Huawei is experimenting with laser-induced discharge plasma, LDP technology, a new method being developed at their Dongguan facility. This system could potentially serve as a domestic substitute for EUV, offering a path toward even more advanced manufacturing capabilities without Western tech. These methods are more complex, more expensive, and often result in lower yields. But the fact remains, they work. Huawei has made working, market-ready, high-performance chips under one of the most restrictive technology regimes ever imposed. And that fact alone is a game-changer. In 2023, Huawei proved its capabilities with the launch of the Mate 60 Pro, which shocked the world by using a homegrown 7 nanometer chip. It wasn't just a symbolic victory, it was a functional one. Performance benchmarks showed that Huawei wasn't just making chips. It was making competitive chips. But the most impressive part might be what's coming next. Huawei's Ascend 910C and Ascend 920C AI processors are being positioned as serious competitors to NVIDIA's cutting-edge Blackwell B200 GPUs. According to research by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, CSIS, Huawei may soon produce over 750,000 advanced AI chips annually. That's an astonishing feat, not just because of the scale, but because these chips are being designed and manufactured under constraints that would cripple most companies. Huawei's hardware is already powering a new wave of Chinese AI platforms, one of the most notable being DeepSeek, an AI model aimed at rivaling OpenAI's GPT series. What's striking is not just the model's performance, but the cost efficiency it achieves running on Huawei's processors. If this trend continues, Huawei may offer an alternative AI infrastructure ecosystem, more affordable and accessible than the dominant NVIDIA CUDA combo. Huawei still faces hurdles in software. Its CUDA alternative lacks the maturity and widespread developer support that NVIDIA enjoys. But that's only temporary. As adoption grows and support ecosystems evolve, Huawei's software stack will become more viable, especially for markets seeking alternatives to U.S.-aligned tech platforms. And that brings us to Huawei's smartphone division a story of resilience that mirrors the chip narrative. In 2024, Huawei shipped over 45 million smartphones, a stunning 25% increase from the year before. Devices like the Kirin X90 powered models running on Harmony OS have gained ground in China and developing markets. By building an end-to-end -end ecosystem from operating system to chipset, Huawei is creating a tech stack that doesn't rely on US tech giants like Qualcomm or Google. The Harmony OS platform now competes not just with Android, but increasingly with iOS, especially within China's tightly integrated digital ecosystem. And as geopolitical tensions grow, many countries are rethinking their dependencies. Huawei's independence gives it an edge, particularly in regions wary of Western control over critical tech infrastructure. This resurgence is also forcing a reevaluation of global policy. The original intent of U.S. sanctions was to slow down China's tech rise. In reality, they may have accelerated it. By forcing Huawei and others to become self-reliant, these policies triggered massive investment in domestic R&D, talent development, and innovation. What was once a gap is quickly closing. And now, TSMC, long seen as the untouchable chip-making giant, is under investigation for allegedly shipping chips to Huawei through intermediaries like Softco. If confirmed, this could lead to multi-billion dollar fines, and it reveals the fragility of global supply chains even in an era of economic decoupling. There's also the environmental dimension. As AI scales rapidly, so does its energy consumption. Data centers are becoming one of the largest industrial power users. Huawei's focus on energy-efficient chip designs and ternary logic could play a critical role in shaping a more sustainable future for computing, balancing power and performance without overwhelming the grid. So where does this leave us? Huawei's journey from sanctioned outcast to global tech leader isn't just a story about one company. It's a broader lesson in resilience, innovation, and shifting global power. Whether through revolutionary chip design, creative manufacturing, or ecosystem independence, Huawei has shown that even the most formidable obstacles can be overcome. For consumers, this could mean better devices, more choice, and longer battery life. For the industry, it means tougher competition and faster innovation. For governments, 
It's a signal that the global tech race is far from settled and that policies built on assumptions of Western supremacy may need to be rethought. The next few years will be critical. Will Huawei commercialize ternary logic at scale? Will it win over developers to its AI platform? Can Harmony OS compete globally? Whatever happens next, one thing is certain. Huawei isn't just back. It's defining the future. And the world is watching. What's your take? Is Huawei poised to change the game permanently? Or are we still in the early innings of this transformation? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If this deep dive gave you a fresh perspective, hit that like button, share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts, and subscribe for more insights into how technology is reshaping our world. Join the conversation.